Hey, this is Richie Sambor, and you're watching Billboard. What's up, everybody? It's Jonathan Brooks with Billboard, host of The Beat, sitting here with a living legend. Oh, please. Mr. Richie Sambor. Hey, hi, y'all. What's going on, man? Everything's good, man, here at the iHeart Radio Show. Yeah? Here we are. Vegas. Yeah, man, Vegas. Are you, are, you, are you a gambling man? I am a gambling man. Yeah, I'll be at the tables later. What do you play? I play blackjack. Really? Yeah, that's what I like. You good? No, but no. I'm not bad. Yeah? I win and I lose. What's your secret? I win and lose. I got no secret. <laughs> I, uh, my secret is uh, I like to have good-looking women hanging around, around me. <laughs> that makes me happy at least even if I'm losing. It's probably easy for you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's okay these days. It's a little harder for the doing, rest of us. It's doing all right. I'm doing all right. Do you remember your first trip to Las Vegas that you, that you ever... To- Ever took? No, honestly, I don't remember my first trip <laughs> to Las Vegas. It was, oh, they all have been good, actually. It was really a good one. Yeah. So what's going on with you these days, man? What's well, happening? I just put out a new solo album called The Aftermath of the Lowdown. Yes. Came out on Tuesday. Awesome. Uh, I'm just really proud of it. Yeah. Uh, I've been getting like really great reviews from everybody, which is unbelievable. And uh, I'm going on the road with my band uh, awesome. starting in October. We put out the European tour and. I'm proud to say it sold out the first day of presale. That's amazing. And now we're coming to America, and maybe a couple of dates in South America, a couple of dates in Canada, and uh, I was happy, man. People are receiving the record well, and I'm I'm just enjoying it. It was, a, it was like a labor of love, man. I mean, it seems like something. Yeah, you, you know what I did? I, I went to uh, an independent label this time. I wanted to do something different, and for me, it's like almost going back because I started an indie label when I was about 23. Yeah. Right before I got into Bon Jovi. And I just dug the mentality of having that artistic freedom and also working with a smaller label, having the flexibility to move. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, so, you know, we're running around the world having a good time, and my numbers look pretty good this week, so it's been good. What What's your your stamina secret, man? I mean, you, you've been, you, you have not slowed down. I have not. One bit. This has been the busiest year because uh, I wrote and recorded my album, and then I started working with John, and we recorded, wrote and recorded the band album, and now I'm going on the road, and then as soon as I get off the road, spend the holidays at home with the family, and uh, back in the road with Bon Jovi. So it's, uh, yeah, it's good. You know, it's in my blood, man. I got to do it. I mean, I mean that's, that's what it boils down to. At the essence of what it boils down to is that, really. I mean, you know, when you're a musician, you got to play, and when it just starts coming out, I yeah. mean, as a writer... Yeah, I mean, on my record, uh, I wrote a song called Weathering the Storm with Bernie Toppin. I mean, oh. I mean, the cat wrote like, he's written with three other writers in his whole life, me being one of them. That's so insane. it's like, it's insane. And it came out so good. I hope everybody's going to check it out. And that's the beauty of, of the business, man, that you're in. It's, it's not easy, but you love it. And then you can have this huge career, and then something like that happens. Plop, I get to work with Bernie Toppin. Absolutely. Toppen. I mean, you know, I'm still the kind of guy that, you know, uh, when you meet your heroes, I don't care where it is, no matter what, it's still a thrill. Yeah. I still become a little kid when I run into my heroes, and Bernie was one of them as a lyricist, as a songwriter. I was, like, thrilled that he was going to do it, you know? So we wrote a beautiful song together, so I'm really happy about it. So you're, you're, you're going to do the tour uh, in support of the album. What, what's the biggest difference between doing the project, you know, all the years of Bon Jovi? You know, you're on the road with, with, the, with the cats that you've been doing. You did it. You just, that was your family. And then you break off and you do yeah, something similar. Yeah, no, you what's know, the... I, I've been a lead singer in all the bands I was in before I got to Bon Jovi, you know. So for me, it's like coming home, you know. Yeah. And I got a great bunch of guys that I work with in the studio and I've played with a lot of different guys and they're just complete masters at their instruments. And in the studio, we became a band real quick and we had so much fun. I said, you guys want to go on the road? They said, everybody said it was a resounding yes. So I think when people come to see us play, they're going to see a lot of great chairman, you know, so it's good. Richie Sambora, man, thank you so much. And I'm going to see you on the beat. Yeah, you will. Real soon. You will. Watch for it. All right.